Hi everyone. Thought I'd do a good show. We're doing a, a garden in uh, Dune Acres. And uh, it's, a, it's a community that was established in the 50s prior to the National Lakeshore in Indiana uh, being established in the late 60s. So we're doing a project at the home here. Beautiful home. And the sand, it's a sandy soil. And there's Anna Maria and her daughter Lucia. So it's a team effort between two groups. And there's a uh, Gene and Emily, they just got here with more plants. So the, we're laying out the patterns right now. It's kind of exciting. And, uh, and it's gonna be an easy to take care of garden, just uh, basically hoeing, let the plants fill in densely. It sounds odd to say easy to take care of, but once the plants fill in fairly densely and the weed competition will be minimal, it's more consistency in May and June, taking care of things. And then uh, the plant should be dense enough that the weed competition will be very minimal. So we're transitioning from sun into dappled shade, you can see, using uh, sedges, Carrick's Montana and Carrick's Trimberg. And then uh, just some pads of plants. We'll walk around and look at the plant patterns. I just wanted to get you started on the momentum of what we're doing. So these are the patterns we have. And there's uh, Echinacea pallida with um, uh, Perovskia little spire, Muhlenbergia, Allium summer beauty, I'll go over those with you, just show you how we lay them out, spacing, stinky jumo, about 15 inch centers. We have a mix of Carrick's Trimberg and Carrick's Montana rivers are gonna go all through here. The holes you see are gonna be limonium, mixed in with the Muhlenbergia. We got Stokesia laevis with, uh, with uh, Salvia crystal blue. Groups of Calamintha scattered through. Sprobulus aeroides with Calamaris blue star drifting through there. White Lightning Veronica, right through here. We got that repeated along the pathways five times or six times. And then uh, Allium Summer Beauty, Muhlenbergia. And we're carrying it into the back. And we have a uh, uh, Euchre Watermelon mixed with Stakey's Yumo. And more Crystal Blue being mixed with uh, Carrick's Trimberg and Carrick's Montana. I'm using those two sedges because they don't flop over. They fill their centers nicely. So they always look clean, look good. And they're easy to grow. They take uh, average to dry soil, and we have sandy soil conditions here, so we're gonna have a very well-drained uh, situation. So you can, you can see the Veronica out there, the Veronica over there, and you just keep repeating it, and here it is right here. How about that? And then some Nepa Junior Walker, offsetting the blue and, and the white, I'm mingling through. I think it looked pretty good. We'll get into the planting part in a little bit. Well, we finished up our planting. Uh, we're putting in a walkway that's gonna go through there. We're not doing another group is doing it. But we got, uh, this is the Euchre Watermelon Series. I really like it. I used it first at Ball, and it has, it has very good durability. Um, so we got that and drifts through here. Then we're following, picking up the red with Pensum and Dark Towers into the sunshade areas with speckled light coming through, filtered light. We have Dark Towers coming through. Uh, another walkway. This is uh, Muhlenbergia we have here. And it'll do just very well in the sandy soil. And we've got uh, Crapus Zagreb scattered through, some Zagreb here. Um, Sprobulus aeroides through there. Sprobulus heterolepis going into Hack and Chloe in the back. I think it's going to be a nice garden. Let's get into the little sunnier area. Stokesia. Right here, we got Stokesia mixed with uh, uh, salvia crystal blue, some allium summer beauty, the traditional blurbs of, uh, or blobs I should say, of uh, calamintha, the white over there, white over here repeated five or six times through the garden. So you can see there's some consistency of the patterns, it's just what you spread between the consistency of some of the patterns that you keep changing it up. And that's what I did with the stochesia and the crystal blue. And then on the other side I have crystal blue with, uh, with the uh, uh, sedges, Carrick's Montana and Carrick's Trimberg. And so that blends that up a little bit. So I, I think it's going to look pretty good. We've got a great crew to do the stewardship because they actually know how to care for a garden like this. So we're off to a good start. And then uh, I'll follow up next week. I'll be back out here to take a look at it. Oh, and Scutellaria and Cana. Nice islands of Scutellaria and Cana. One up front, so it's a larger group and three or four scattered through the back with you with the agastache 
and Molinia Transparent, and Aster Chicago. That came out of Brent's hybrid program at Intrinsic. It's a nice oblongifolius. Okay, we'll talk to you soon.